We received an urgent message while you were away. It was Inquisitor Goslar. Again. You don't sound delighted, Captain. Not that I blame you. Open the channel. Inquisitor, since your investigation has ended, you may serve the Imperium in more direct ways. The Holy Orders of the Inquisition need you in the Nereus system, urgently. As of today, we have lost contact with the Tempestus Citadel, the main stronghold of the Caligari Conclave. This is a heavily fortified star fort, protected by Imperial battleships and other more exotic measures. This communication blackout is highly unusual. We suspect sinister reasons. For this reason, I strongly recommend that you travel to the Nereus system and offer assistance to the Tempestis Citadel. Should you experience any hostile activity, deal with it with extreme resolve. The Emperor protects! Inquisitor, we have received word from various rogue trader contacts in the Atroxia subsector that an ancient battered fortress monastery has been spotted in the Draco system at various times. It is refusing to answer all hailing. By the Emperor, the Martyr has returned from the warp. This is colossal news, Captain. I wanted to make sure that it was not a false alarm, but all subsequent astropathic messages confirm that it is indeed the Martyr docking at Port Valentius. Star map has been updated with the coordinates. We have no time to lose then. This is my chance to shed light on the true mystery of the Alpha Pariah. If she is still alive. time here, for reasons which are classified now. These silent antique quarrels were unsettled by their plan, and they are still unsettling me. You are in the Bibliothesa district, Inquisitor. Silence and a lack of- The filth of chaos has ventured deep into our sanctuary. They are aware of iconography of the cursed black witcher. You might be late, Inquisitor, but it's never too late for vengeance. Archives are in dire danger! In the name of the Emperor, 
Identify yourself. Ah, uh, you sound like an initiated agent. Good. I need immediate assistance. Chaos forces have infiltrated the area. They are heading towards the Prime Data Vault. The Archive is extremely valuable. It is a wondrous collection. Paradox detected. No trace of the data vault on the base layer. There are more than a few hidden chambers here. Inconsistency. Thanks to the Emperor, you made it! There is no time to lose. The data vault is just a stone's throw away. Stone's throw? It does not compute. Never mind, Tech Priest. Lead the way, Archivist. Don't interfere. Just stay alive. I have a pleasant surprise for you, Inquisitor. You took your time, Inquisitor, but saving the Archive from the Black Legion intruders was a valuable contribution to our cause. Still, our work isn't over yet. While we were cleaning up the mess on the Tempesta Citadel, the whole Nereus system was hit by a full-scale invasion by the Black Legion. 
You will not leave until the presence of Chaos has been eradicated and their unholy influence has been cauterized. The Emperor protects. The whole system is under attack, but according to the intercepted Vox messages, Nereus 3 and Nereus 4 have taken the hardest hits. Where do we start, Inquisitor? Just mark me the bloodiest hellhole on the star map, Captain. We are going to war. situation it's not great inquisitor the air is full of desperate fox transmissions the initial attack of the black legion came without warning they have overrun the local headquarters of the astra militarum any news about high marshal Forte? his command post is in the city right now he is our best chance of revitalizing the defenses according to the latest reports he was captured with his retinue a leader unable to defend himself isn't the worst problem. Senior Commander of the Astra Militarum. I hereby proclaim the unconditional surrender of all remaining Imperial forces, including the Astra Militarum regiments, planetary defense forces, and the local militia. Further resistance would be a futile waste of Imperial lives. That's the last thing our forces need right now. Captain, tell the tech priests to scramble this transmission right now. Understood.
It's time to silence the cowardly propaganda once and for all. Marshal Corte, explain yourself. What? Where am I? Immersive sorcery! Inquisitor, I wasn't myself! I swear by the Emperor I could never betray our cause! A smart decision, Inquisitor. The gratitude of a High Marshal is a strong currency. How are you faring down there, Inquisitor? Our work in this Emperor Forsaken City is done. The Vox Station is silenced, and the Black Legion traitors are decimated. We'll leave the rest for the Loyalist forces. Visit Nehru's three and bolster the defenses personally, but the battle here looks like a sideshow. I humbly disagree, Inquisitor. This is an isolated backwater world with a single functional void port. Losing the only connection to the Imperium would be a logistical nightmare, not to mention the psychological impact. You must silence the Black Legion artillery before the void shields fail. And the thriving rogue trader NK in this besieged void port has nothing to do with your priorities. What can I say, Inquisitor? We are who we are. For the Emperor! running out. Affirmative. The void shields protecting the void port are working at 32% efficiency, detecting increasing fluctuation in the dispersion patterns.
hope those shields hold for a few more minutes. artillery has been eliminated. The void port is safe for now. I hope our rogue traitor friends will be grateful, Captain. They aren't our friends, Inquisitor. They are the ones who owe us a favor. capital. Now there is nothing left but ashes. That's not entirely true. The majority of the local population is deceased or missing, but the bioscanners have located a large group of survivors. Their numbers are dwindling, though, following a perfectly regulated pattern. Strange. It makes sense, Magos. I have analyzed the operations of the traitors, and their attack against the Nereus III is an odd one. It's a backwater feudalistic planet, lacking any military, logistical, or economic importance. From their perverted point of view, there is only one important resource here. Human livestock. Exactly. For their unholy rituals. You should rip them apart before it's too late, Inquisitor. This time, your blood thirst is perfectly appropriate for you. Interesting development, Inquisitor. 
While you were finishing up with this rabble, I detected strange fluctuations in the energy field protecting the Black Legion ritual. Be more specific, Magos. It's only a theory, but it looks like their motive force fuels the energy field. All you have to do is sever this bond, and you can disrupt their ritual. I will sever all their bonds with great severity. may be worthy of inspection. Inquisitor. The energy field has collapsed. You can now access the site of their rituals. Good news indeed. They will pay the price for butchering this city. This. You are a thorn in my side, Inquisitor. It's time to gently remove you. Have you defeated them, Inquisitor? Just in time. The ritual was almost complete. Had they opened the warp rift, this planet would have been engulfed by demonic hordes. Alas, there's not much left to save or reclaim here. Time to return to the ship.
I have an urgent message for you, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, the flagship of the Black Legion, the Inferius Eternum, has finally revealed itself at Nereus IV and started a massive planetary bombardment. The civilian losses are regretful, but this move reeks of desperation. The bombardment resulted in massive firestorms, and the damage is massive, even for my taste. The Inferius Eternum is still in orbit, led by a heretic Astartes called Lord Antaros, the bringer of damnation. A Calidus assassin managed to infiltrate the ship, but she has failed to properly execute her mission. However, she managed to install a teleport beacon close to the bridge before her regrettable demise. I want you to be the Wrath of the Imperium. completed, but this is definitely not the bridge of the Inferius Eternum. Tech Priest, what happened? Unforeseeable anomalies, Inquisitor. The Teleportarium uses short burst warp infusion, and there was interference. It looks like I need to find a way to this Lord and Tarnas. Correct. Addendum. Warp engine activation detected on the target. The mission should be resolved as soon as possible. Entering the Immaterium on a Chaos Vessel is calculated as an extremely undesirable outcome. Just a bait. A treacherous trick from a treacherous enemy.
I, the Emperor, look at this ship. It's hard to believe that those perverse monstrosities were once Astartes. It's shameful for every one of us. Horus Rubicol was once the most beloved son of the Emperor. If he could fall, none of us is safe from corruption. Leave no survivors, Inquisitor. Kill them all. left to hide monster time to return into the warp but this time without your wretched body big words and little substance mortal as usual you are just as blind as the false emperor and that's saying something but don't worry i will keep you alive for a little while to witness the fruition of the war master's plan The directive I have found in this cogitator is alarming. Abaddon, the cursed despoiler himself, is behind the invasion. I'm afraid it is only the beginning of the true war. We must warn the Caligari Conclave immediately. Inquisitor, you have a message from the Caligari Conclave. I am quite satisfied with your results, Inquisitor. Antaros finally ceased to exist. I must admit that the order you have retrieved from the Inferius Eternum could be a crucial piece in the puzzle. The Despoiler's interest in the Caligari Sector is concerning. Even the highest-ranking members of the Conclave are startled by your discovery, but I'm not allowed to reveal more. You did fine work here, Inquisitor. I'm going to leave you to your own schemes and plans for now. But know this, you are ranked among the influential individuals in the Sector. The Emperor protects.
bad. Our navigator has gone half mad from the warp anomalies. We've detected several warp rifts in the area. The veil between the real space and the immaterium is fading. We have to stop this madness. was just a bait. A treacherous trick from a treacherous enemy. Closing, but reality is still bleeding into the warp. The Emperor's light has found me.
can be ungrateful sometimes, but today you saved thousands from damnation. And our last task is to cover this up. Slightly depressing, isn't it? tough nuts to crack. Our forces are unable to launch an aerial strike on a bunker protected by counter-battery units. You take out the artillery pieces first, then mark the bunker for the expurgation, while I feed you the necessary data from orbit. short work of that one, Inquisitor. But there is more. and repeat in the name of the Emperor, of course.
You did a short work of that one, Inquisitor. But there is more. Objective completed. Great work down there. Is it heresy to think that these hostiles were a bit out of your league? Heresy and corruption is spun by powerful beings and perverted minds. Hunt their leaders, and this construct of evil will come crashing down.
The Emperor's light has found me.
High Priest, this Imperial facility has been abandoned for a very long time. Are you certain the Alpha Pariah is here? The data burst from the Machine Spirit was an emergency signal. The Alpha Pariah left the Martyr to follow an unidentified Vox transmission originating from these coordinates. I need more information on this place. Cursory data siphoning reveals that the deeds of Foundation bear the seal of Uther Tiberius. This must have been one of his secret hideouts, designated to aid his pilgrimage through the Caligari sector. Did the Martyr follow the ancient protocols? Tagged as speculation. Suggestion. Revert to priority assignment.
of the galaxy is free from their unfortunate existence. I assume this one is with the Harbinger too. I'm an Inquisitor of Holy Terror. Explain your presence here. Tell me, human. Do you speak the language of dream riddles and dead gods? Enough of this babble. Answer my question. I thought so, monkey. You wouldn't understand our purpose here. Not even if I wanted to answer your question. But I don't. Interesting. Most Eldari either live on their starfaring craft worlds or sail as corsairs. These are proven facts. My point is that these Eldar don't look like corsairs. So what are they doing here? And they are showing more hostility toward the Imperium than usual. Analysis shows that their tribal heraldry is unique. These Eldar specimen don't belong to any craft world listed in the folios of the Unholy, in the ship databanks. I must investigate these Xenos, but the Alpha Pariah is the priority. Exloading the coordinates of the Sensorium to your data slate. Access the surveillance system there. It could provide information on the Alpha Pariah and the Xenos presence. an important information. Supplementary notes on the Elder suggest- You were right, Tech Priest. How can I access the contents of this crystal? Secondary analytical coils activated. Converting and exloading data to your data slate now. Tech Priest, I want you to dig deep into the old Doe's records on the Eldari in this subsector. Any expanded search parameters? I need information on the craft world Tuathal and the planet Loriok. You are authorized to use my temporary override codes. I must know why these Eldar hate the Imperium so much. I'm ready for my trial of faith. I have been compiling information on the craft world from the memory crystal. A summary will suffice. Tuathal is a minor craft world, primarily roaming in the Caligari sector. This Aeldari megastructure has been constantly succumbing to a significant chaos infection that is gradually turning it inhabitable. The Tuathal Aeldari have been slowly abandoning the infected craft world, relocating to the maiden world in the sector. This is what I have for now. Keep me updated. Begun gathering information on the recent history of Maiden World Loria. Proceed, Megos. Most of the information is classic, but it seems that after the recent Tyranid High Fleet was destroyed in the subsector, a substantial number of the surviving Xenox attacked the Tuathal Maiden World and tried to assimilate the local biomass. Interesting, but I have a situation here, Megos. We will resume shortly. Xenos. 
Chrysotas, the contents of the memory crystal suggest an explanation for the hatred of the craft world elder. There is no acceptable explanation for turning against the Imperium, but carry on. The Tuathal Eldar requested assistance from the Imperium when their maiden world succumbed to the Tyranid invasion, but Thule Forge World intercepted the message. The Adeptus Mechanicus decided to purge the Tyranid threat in their own jurisdiction and ordered a full-scale exterminatus on the Eldari world. Sometimes one can only shudder at the cold logic of Adeptus Mechanicus operations. Loriach has become a barren wasteland, devoid of all life. These Eldari on their dying craft world lost their last hope of escape from their demise. They blame the Imperium for their fate. I'm ready for my trial of faith. The Tech Priest is skimming through the personal logs in the Tech Priest data hall from the facility. Has he found out anything interesting so far? He highlighted a few curious details. After the excommunication of Uther Tiberius, the place was investigated thoroughly and used by the Inquisition. After a fatal chaos incursion, it was abandoned on the order of the... The Harbinger is still in the Human Shrine. I need to return there immediately. The spirit stones of our brothers and sisters are empty husks. How is this even possible? The Harlequin warned us, and foolishly we ignored her words. I will deal with the Harbinger. You stand guard here. We have a new intruder. the terminal to open surveillance mode and restore power to the facility. I have located the Alpha Pariah. She is on Shrine Level Alpha 4. I need to return to the ship, then I will find her. Power has been restored on all levels. Good. <laughs> 